Hello friends and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's great to hear. Let's sing our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings and fly to one side, fly over to the other side, back to the middle, and now take your airplane wings into a big circle out in front of you like this. Next, bring the circle up over your head and stretch to one side, over to the other side. Nice stretching, friends. One last time up at the top and we'll bring the circle back down and sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Circle Time. Before we get started, let's do three things quickly. First, let's turn on our listening ears. The next thing that we need to do is put on our thinking hats. So you look for your thinking hat. I'm going to look for mine. Mine is right behind me. I'm going to take it and put it on top of my head. Today my thinking hat has some snaps underneath my chin. So I'm going to snap, snap, snap it up. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now we are ready for circle time. First, let's go over the date. We are going to begin with the month. And the month is right up here. We started this month last week. Do you remember what it's called? June. The month is June. Today is June 8th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was June 7th and today is June 8th. And right up here we have the year. You can say that it's 2021 or 2021. Both ways are correct. Let's count the days that we've had so far in the month of June. So get those counting fingers out and warm them up to give them a little stretch. We will start at the number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have had eight days so far in the month of June. If you put away one of your fingers, now you have seven fingers and we're ready to sing the Days of the Week song. Will you sing with me? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's go down to the bottom of the chart. This says that yesterday was Monday. That means that today is Tuesday. And tomorrow will be Wednesday. But let's sing Today is Tuesday together. It goes like this. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday all day long. Now let's go back up to the top of the chart where we have the season. Do you know what the season is? Spring. It's springtime where I live but not for much longer. In just a few weeks, we will say goodbye to the springtime and we will say hello to the summertime. But for now, it is still springtime where I live. Now let's sing the weather song together and then we can share what the weather is like. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So my picture 
on my weather chart is the same picture as it was yesterday. It's a picture of a cloud and the sun because when I look outside of my window, it's still mostly sunny, but there are a few clouds in the sky. My temperature chart is on orange. Today is going to be a very warm day. We are even supposed to get some thunderstorms later today. What do you see when you look outside of your window, friends? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now let's go over the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. So yesterday, we talked about this uppercase or capital letter. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? That's right, friends. And what is this letter called? C. This is an uppercase or capital C. C says K. K. I wonder what we will find inside of the letter box today. It's something that starts with the letter K. C. I'm going to give you some clues, and if you think you know what it is, you can take a guess. Here's your first clue. This is something that you light. Hmm. It has a wick on the top of it, and you can put this on a birthday cake. You can also light this if it's dark outside and you need some light to see. Hmm. Any ideas? Let's take a peek. A candle. So right here, I have a blue birthday candle. Candle starts with the letter K, C. So this blue part right here is made from wax. And at the top, this is called the wick. This is the part that you light. Candle starts with the letter K, C. This is how you write an uppercase or capital K, C. One more time. Yesterday, we also talked about a new number of the week. Do you remember what number this is? Two. This is the number two. Can I see you hold up one, two fingers? That's right, friends. And now let's count to two using the large bead frame. This week, we are going to count to the number two using the large bead frame. So we are going to count two of the green beads up here because these are units. So let's count to two. One, two. Two units. Let's take a peek inside of the box and see what else we have to count today. I have two flowers. One, two. So these are wild daisies. These are beautiful flowers that grow in my yard at the end of springtime and into the summer. I have one, two flowers. Yesterday, I showed you how to say forest in sign language. Do you remember how? We took one of our arms straight across like this, and then we used our other arm and brought our elbows to our fingers and then moved our arm across like this. Forest. When you are camping, you are out in nature, and there usually is not electricity to use. So that means that you can't turn on a light when it gets dark out. But what can you do instead? Can you think of anything? You can use a flashlight or you can light a fire. A campfire is a great way to provide heat and light when you're sleeping outside. But you can also tell stories around a campfire, sing songs, and roast marshmallows. What do you think you need to build a campfire? Well, first, you want to make sure that you have a bucket of water nearby 
just in case you have to put out the fire. Then you want to find an area that is clear from brush without very many trees around. I usually will find some large stones and place them in a circle around where I want the fire to be. And then it's time to collect the right materials to build a fire. I'll show you what you'll need. Today I'm going to teach you how to build a top-down fire. So after you collect all the materials that you're going to need to build your fire, which are going to include logs, sticks, branches, dried pine needles, and some newspaper right here, you're going to start building the fire. So in order to build a top-down fire, I start with the largest materials at the bottom. So I have these three logs to start off, and then next, going across the opposite way, I have these medium-sized logs, followed by some smaller little pieces of kindling up here, and then up at the top I have little twigs and some newspaper. This is called the tinder. That's going to be the fire starter. Now the most important thing to remember when you're building a fire is to only use dry material because wet material will not catch. But remember, today we are only going to build a fire. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Remember, for today's work, we are only building the fire. We are not starting the fire. Fire is something that is very powerful and should not be handled unless a grown-up is around. Thanks for learning with me today. Please subscribe to my channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Now it's time to sing our goodbye song. Let's wave goodbye like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.